Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, I'm Hiromasa Watanabe from uh, KK in Japan. And uh, I, first of all, I thank to all the organizers for giving me uh, uh, such a nice opportunity to talk. And today I, uh, I would like to talk about the basic overview of this partial deconfinement in large energy theory. And by the way, I am I'm going to move to, uh, sorry, the Yuko Institute in Kyoto, Japan uh, from next month. So I, I am now in the process of the house moving. So I returned my house of, uh, house key to the letting agent this morning. So it was a tough day for me, but uh, I will do my best for this uh, talk. So here is the main, main take home message uh, in this talk, uh, which is the introduction of the partial deconfinement. So uh, the, I will explain that in detail, but the, in short, the partial deconfinement uh, states that in the intermediate region of large energy theory, especially in, uh, at finite temperature, uh, in which I will explain later, the uh, color degrees of freedom it can be separated into the confined and the deconfined sectors in, the, in, in terms of the color space. And we can see that uh, two-phase coexistence, coexistence uh, can occur in the uh, space. So intuitively, we can uh, we can illustrate uh, such a image. Uh, such a uh, we can uh, imagine such a, the following situation. Uh, if we consider the UN gauge theory uh, and uh, with uh, only pure gauge or uh, with fundamental uh, sorry adjoint matter appears, and the field configuration can be separated explicitly uh, like this. So. Uh, I uh, in in my talk the explaining this concept is my goal to talk uh, in this talk and uh, as you may uh, some of you may know, notice and uh, wonder that the uh, this concept is very similar uh, in the uh, explained in the uh, previous vibes talk and that's indeed the case and uh, that's a very uh, same uh, concept uh, in the matrix entanglement and the partial deconfinement. So let's start from the deconfinement and the confinement, uh, confinement and the deconfinement phase transition. Then, as you know, the deconfinement phase transition and or confinement is a non-trivial feature of gauge theory, especially in uh, at finite temperature. Then the, the QCD phase transition is one of the representative. Uh, problems in the issue in in this issue and if we uh, consider the uh, low energy or low temperature regions we can see the hadrons or uh, mesons uh, baryons and uh, no one can see the quarks isolated theory however we can see uh, if we study at the high night at the high temperature or high energy regions uh, such uh, by such as the uh, acquired the experiments, uh, we, uh, we can obtain the QZP phase and uh, uh, there are many uh, in independent degrees of freedom. So uh, there are many uh, characteristic features to uh, describe the mechanism of uh, the confinement phase transition. Uh, let's focus on this uh, explosive growth of the color degrees of freedom at some uh, characteristic temperature. So also there are many uh, several uh, approaches to describe the mechanism of deconfinement, but now we are focusing on the rather theoretical uh, approaches, uh, which is the large, uh, considering the large energy theory. And uh, the reason is, uh, is that uh, we, because we uh, I explain where I explain the concept is now uh, applicable in the following, especially in the large energy theory. So if we consider the large energy theory and uh, at finite temperature, that we can uh, consider the phase transition in a kinematical manner. And because the, there is a main, uh, 
uh, famous uh, criterion of deconfinement uh, obtained by the Tohoff coupling, uh, which is given by the Witten in 1988. For example, we consider the uh, canonical ensemble and the thermodynamics. The free energy is one of the useful order parameter uh, to describe the phase transition. Uh, as I explained in the previous slide, the, we, we can see the uh, exponential uh, explosive growth of the color degrees of freedom. So if we consider the, uh, to, uh, in the low energy regions, the, uh, we cannot see the uh, color singlet. Uh, we cannot see the color degrees of freedom and only we can see is the uh, condensed color singlet object. Oh, and uh, there are some uh, critical regions and uh, above the regions, we can see the uh, uh, each color degree of freedom contributing to the thermodynamics and the thermodynamic quantities. So there are uh, uh, the confined phase. And uh, another interesting topic is uh, it can happen even in the finite in finite volume or weak coupling cases if we consider the large energy gauge theory because of the large energy limit works the thermodynamic limit uh, in, uh, in this part. Uh, in uh, there uh, as a thermodynamic limit, uh, despite of the uh, we can we can not take the infinite volume limit. And uh, another uh, motivation is coming from the gauge gravity duality, uh, which is also uh, explained in the Bayhab's talk. And uh, let me uh, remind you uh, once again this motivation. So. It, the famous uh, ADS shift correspondence states that the uh, N equals four super Yamil theory on sphere is uh, dual to the type to be supergravity on ADS five cross S five, and uh, they, they uh, are connected. Uh, the some of the, uh, at finite temperature cases are also connected to each other, and uh, on the gravity side, uh, there are uh, some uh, ADS supershoot. Uh, geometry and uh, the uh, summer radius geometry can be uh, can be appeared and the Hawking phase transition can uh, is separated to these phases. Uh, it is a very known well known story and uh, another uh, moreover moreover we can see another objects can appear uh, as a thermodynamically stable phase which is the small black hole phase and the Hagedorn phase Hagedorn string phase. Uh, in microcanonical ensemble, but uh, there is a gap. Uh, we can uh, treat uh, the, such a, such objects in canonical ensemble, but uh, there is a uh, well established objects in the gravity dual. So uh, the counterpart of the gauge uh, counterpart of such objects in the gauge, on the gauge theory side is uh, not established in. Uh, until now, so we want to consider uh, such an object in the gauge theory, uh, some dynamics of gauge theory. So this is uh, one of the motivation from gravity. So the from this motivation, the uh, some some researchers have been studied the phase structure of gauge, uh, large and gauge theory in the weak coupling limit, and. Uh, Sandborg and uh, Harney et al. studied the uh, gauge theory phase structure in a somehow uh, generic manner. And the, the canonical partition, and in short, uh, as a conclusion, uh, they, uh, they considered in a, the uh, generic uh, partition function, uh, canonical partition function uh, in the uh, language of gauge, uh, gauge group theory. So the, here is the uh, generic form of the uh, canonical partition, partition function written by the one uh, particle partition function of bosons and fermions because we uh, they st they studied in the free limit and zero coupling limit. So only we can only we have to do is just a counting of the uh, degrees of freedom on the sphere. 
And uh, if we consider more specific cases, such as the Yamu's theory, the, uh, the path integral measure can be translated into the polio offline phases uh, like this. And uh, using this uh, notion, we can see there is uh, only the three patterns of the phase structure. The, I will explain the detail later, but uh, there uh, uh, I want to emphasize that the, there are two phase transition and uh, there, there are three uh, individual uh, phases uh, separated to them. And one of these is the Hagedron transition and the one the another is the gross wheat wadia transition. So we can see the uh, intermediate region separated by two uh, phase transitions, which is now uh, what we call the partially confined phase. So the, there is uh, what we call the partially confined phase and uh, propose that which, uh, which is the phenomena of the two phase coexistence of color degrees of freedom. So we, uh, let me consider the uh, let me let me explain intuitively this uh, phenomena using the uh, approximation of the harmonic oscillators, uh, which is uh, justified in the weak coupling limit. For example, we if we consider in the confined phase the matrix configuration, each uh, element of the matrix configuration can be approximated in the ground state and. Uh, uh, with the uh, zero point fr uh, fluctuations. So uh, the configuration is fulfilled with the uh, ground state. However, we can, if we consider the, uh, some higher energy or higher temperature regions, the, the harmonic oscillators can be uh, excited from the effect of the high temperature or uh, high energy excitation. So they are, they are excited. So if we can, uh, consider, and moreover, we can consider the intermediate uh, situation such as like this. Uh, some of the uh, harmonic oscillators are excited, but the rest can not be excited because the uh, energy level is limited. So here is, uh, here, uh, if we consider such a situation, the, this uh, such a uh, uh, mixing uh, configuration must be appeared in the large energy theory uh, using the uh, previous uh, criterion of the uh, phase uh, uh, deconfinement phase transition. In fact, the contribution of the thermodynamic quantities is dominant only from the deconfined sector. Uh, it is uh, connected to the uh, criterion of the previous uh, one. If, so, for example, if we consider the energy is uh, not so high, but not so low, uh, like uh, the speci specific uh, numbers of M, and uh, which is characterized by some uh, numerical factor of epsilon, then in the partially deconfined phase, uh, such an intermediate energy region can uh, must be uh, realized. So, oh, sorry, the question is uh, whether uh, how can we, uh, we are, is it possible to appear? And the, the answer is yes. And for concrete models, uh, I will explain later, the energy uh, in the partial deconfined phase can be uh, explained only from the deconfined sector because the contribution from the confined sector is nothing but the zero point energy and uh, cannot contribute to the thermodynamic quantity. And another interesting topic is the, the relation to the matrix configuration or in the, general, uh, in the uh, interpretation of uh, the geometric, sorry, mana. The famous theory is that uh, obtained by Witten is that the matrix configuration, especially the diagonal element of the off-diagonal element in the super uh, scalar fields of the super theory can be uh, translated into the position of the difference and uh, interactions written by the open strings in between. So the naive picture can be uh, applied to the, uh, uh, can be naturally apl applied to this uh, concept uh, explained in the partially confined phase. And uh, the another 
、えー well, I want to explain is that the formal,、uh, formal description of the partial deconfinement by the p o l y a g o group and the、uh, distribution of its phase.、Uh, I, phase I will explain, in the meaning of phase, I will explain later, but、uh, it is not the some dynamic phase, just the、uh, phase. phase. So, the, as you may know, but the、uh, p o l y a c o f l u f is one of the useful order p a r a m e t e r for the deconfinement phase transition. And the、uh, definition is obtained like this. And、uh, if we diagonalize the gauge field of the temporal direction、uh, such a way, we can obtain this formation. And、uh, if we consider the large end limit, the,、uh, this.、Uh, Formulation can be、uh, rewritten as the, using the、uh, density or distribution uh, function uh, law of P. And、uh, these objects can be、uh, is useful for、uh, determining the detecting the phase transition in the following way. So, for example, if we consider the low energy or low temperature regions, the Polyakov loop is zero,、uh, the expectation value of the Polyakov loop is zero and the confined phase a p p e a r And、uh, if we、uh, see the、uh, configuration of the phase distribution, and、uh, it is uni、uh, uniformly flat. And there are some、uh, transition points、uh, in the h a g e d r o n point and the, the <coughs> sorry. The、uh, polyacoff loop can,、uh, excite, can be excited, excited and then have no zero value. So, this change is uh, translated uh, into the、uh, formation of the、uh, peak in the、uh, field, sorry,、uh, phase distribution. And、uh, if we consider much, much higher energy regions, the, there are another Uh, phase transition point, which is a gross w i t t e n wire phase transition, which is uh, uh, written in terms of the gap formation. Uh, gap, uh, this disjoint region、uh, is formed in the point、uh, C t y p e o l plus minus pi. So, in the large end limit, large end gauge theory,、uh, there are two, these two phase transitions、uh, must be appeared and、uh, So, uh, some intermediate phase must be up here in this sense. And the、uh, inter interesting point is that the uh, intermediate uh, phase, sorry, phase distribution of the intermediate、uh, region can be expressed as the, some appropriate、uh, linear combination written in the confined phase. Uh, phase distribution and the gross w i t t e n wire point phase distribution. So, this is nothing but the,、uh, the partial deconfinement state that the two phase coexistence can appear in the color、uh, space. So, and、uh, this is just a comment about the, uh, the offset of in the phase distribution in the partial e deconfinement phase determines the numbers of degrees of freedom. So, Uh, and uh, the, uh, this statement is obtained、uh, in the、uh, study. Underlying the mechanism is the same with the argument of gauge redundancy and the, the、uh, Bose Einstein condensation,、uh, the permutation redundancy in the、uh, mini body system, quantum mechanical system. So, the behind、uh, in essential、uh, concept. Is nothing but the gauge redundancy in this case. And、uh, here is the、uh, concrete example、uh, to consider the partial deconfinement.、Uh, and、uh, I want to make an intuitive picture for you.、Uh, the partial deconfinement can,、uh, can, be up, can appear in the large energy gauge theory、uh, at finite temperature. So, for example, we consider the Gaussian matrix model, which is a simple but、uh, simple toy model, but showing the deconfinement. The action can be obtained like this, and the, it, nothing but the Gaussian form, and it, it is very simple form. And we now apply,、uh, employ the gauge fixing to the static diagonal gauge 
and the temporal gauge direct, uh, configuration can be diagonalized like this. And uh, performing the functional integral and uh, obtain the effective potential like this, uh, which is the uh, pass, just a passing Gaussian integral of the uh, gauge fixed uh, Euclidean Gaussian uh, Boltzmann weight. And obtain like uh, using the uh, notion of the functional determinant, uh, we can obtain like uh, this form and uh, we can straightforwardly uh, calculate this. Uh, factors can be obtained and can be obtained like this. It's a five minute warning. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, five okay. Minutes. Yeah, thank you. Then we can see the uh, effective potential like this, and the potential minimum determines the free energy. And uh, for example, uh, if we uh, consider the low, low tenet Lower temperature regions, the UN is zero because the coefficients must be positive in this region. So, uh, in the confined, uh, they are confined phase. So, at some temperatures, on, only we, there is a point that A1 can be zero and the an another coefficients can, must be zero, uh, is zero. And there, in this region, in this point, uh, the, which is nothing but the uh, critical points, U1. Can, uh, can be, you one can excite and uh, you n, uh, n is greater than two must be in zero. So here is the uh, phase diagram like this. And uh, in this uh, critical temperature, the uh, Polyakov loop uh, is uh, uh, written in terms of the uh, two phase coexistence. And uh, uh, as I explained in the previous uh, slide, the uh, poly sorry, Polyakov line phases uh, can be separated into the confined sector and the confined sector in a sub in an appropriate uh, weight. And also, we, we can uh, consider uh, we can compute the uh, thermodynamic quantities using these uh, Polyakov loops and the uh, phase distribution. And the uh, the thermodynamic quantities also can be uh, written in terms of the uh, two phase coexistence manner. So uh, I need, there is, uh, the time is coming. So let me quickly introduce the, uh, the partial deconfinement can be uh, described in the uh, Hamiltonian formalism. So the uh, Hamiltonian can be uh, written is uh, oh, Hamiltonian of the Gaussian matrix model is written like this, and uh, we can formally uh, define the commutation, uh, sorry, uh, creation and annihilation operators like this, and the physical states can be obtained by applying these kinds of uh, operators to the folk vacuum. So the thermodynamic quantities like entropies or, or energies can be obtained like this. So how to how do we obtain uh, like a, a separate uh, explicit uh, matrix matrix configuration in the Hilbert space language? So here's the answer that the if we restrict the uh, uh, creation operator uh, in some re regions and uh, applying to the uh, folk vacuum, so we can obtain like a uh, this, these kinds of objects in the Hilbert space, and we, if we combine such um, such uh, states, uh, we can form the energy eigenstate in the uh, SUM uh, invariant one, but not SUN invariant one. So, uh, if but we can obtain the SUN invariant uh, uh, energy eigenstate in a following way, which is explained in the previous uh, by Hubs talk, but we, if, um, which is the uh, uh, in integration or for the all of the SUN space and like this. So, uh, which is uh, the, here the schematical uh, picture uh, as I, what I explained in now and the, in this sense, uh, we can obtain 
these kind of objects in a SU and invariant manner. So this uh, phenomena can be interpreted as a gauge symmetry breaking. And now we are move on to the uh, partial deconfinement uh, studied in the lattice Monte Carlo simulation, which is the uh, which gives the strong evidence for the strong coupling uh, for partial deconfinement in the strong coupling regions. So we study the Gaussian matrix model in numerical manner uh, at first, and uh, the established analysis method uh, can. Uh, we established the uh, analysis method to study the moreover non-trivial cases, which is the Yamuse matrix model, as known as the bosonic matrix, bosonic VFSS model, like uh, which the action is obtained like this. So here's uh, some remarks. First of all, the, we consider the microcanonical like analysis is performed because uh, which that is the sampling of the configuration whose energy is a specific value. So we pick, we pick up some uh, configuration uh, such, a, uh, such that the energy is some fixed number. Or uh, uh, in the Gaussian matrix model, the energy is written as the function of the polyacoff group. So energy fixing is the, uh, nothing but the, uh, the fixing of the numbers of polyacoff groups. Another remark is that the, we refer the master field notion as a lattice configuration, which is determined like this. So the uh, master field uh, states that the, if we obtain the, such a, a field configuration, we can approximate the uh, thermodynamic expectation value uh, only by only the master field configuration, which gives a correct, uh, nothing but a correct expectation value. Uh, up to the leading order in one novel expansion. So the master field expresses some typicality and uh, uh, coming from the uh, information of the subtle points governed by the physics at large n. So if we assume two uh, idealized uh, situation, then we perform the numerical simulation as follows. So in the Gaussian matrix model, the uh, expectation value of the energy is obtained formally like this. And using the features of a master field, it is uh, can be uh, we assume that the uh, the little, uh, the related form is uh, uh, justified. The in the notion of the uh, expectation value uh, governed by the uh, uh, variances are written as the uh, another defined the uh, density function of uh, scalar fields. So using this uh, expectation value, we uh, set some ansatz for the scalar uh, matrix of matrix configuration. And uh, if, we, if we assume uh, such a uh, mixed configuration is obtain, uh, obtained. So the new if and uh, we perform the uh, Monte Carlo simulation and uh, obtain uh, and uh, estimate the field, uh, this distribution function of for the sky, scalar fields. Actually, we can see this answer can hold um, uh, is hold uh, is held uh, in the confined phase and the deep confined phase uh, must uh, actually appeared. Sorry, uh, I can I must skip this. Uh, slide and uh, the same analysis is uh, performed also in the uh, interacting Yamuse matrix model, and uh, we can see the same uh, situation, which is nothing but the uh, two phase coexistence in terms of the phase distribution uh, of the uh, gauge field sector and the uh, phase coexistence in terms of the scalar degrees of freedom uh, is held, is satisfied uh, as well in the interacting phase, uh, interacting uh, matrix models. So the, uh, this kind of uh, uh, two-phase coexistence uh, is satisf satisfied even in the, uh, beyond the 
uh, weak coupling regions. So here's a summary of and the future directions of this talk. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous slides, the two-phase coexistence of the color degrees of freedom in, uh, is appear, is occur, it can occur in the large energy theory at finite temperature. So uh, just a quick comment, but the, this concept is very similar and can be, uh, this can be, uh, can be tested in the uh, zero plus one dimensional super EMU theory uh, as known as the uh, BFSS, full BFSS matrix model or BMN matrix model in a numerical manner. So please check the talk by Stratos, Stratos in the morning, uh, sorry, in the uh, Monday. So that's all, thank you so much. Thanks, Hiramasa. We do have a question uh, so to give I have you. one question. Yes. How the phase space diagram for the Yang Mills model look like? I mean, the energy and temperature plot, just like you have shown the, for the question matrix model. So how it looks like for the Yang Mills matrix model? Uh, the phase diagram, you mean? Yes, this one. This one is for the Gaussian one. Uh, this uh, for the Yang Mills matrix model, actually there is a, a first order phase transition. So in such a uh, the schematically, this is the case. Is it the answer? So this one is the for the Yang Mills matrix model. Yeah, bosonic Yang Mills matrix model. So uh, the phase structure can be changed in if we add the film uh, super pattern. So the situation will be changed. Okay, and can you please go on slide number 13? So, uh, yes, yes, 13. Uh, one back. So I think, oh, okay, so uh, this one for the Young Mills matrix model. So I have very naive questions. So can it, does it relevant to add higher order interactions just like Xi, Xj's power four? Yeah. It can be possible, but uh, the... I mean, does it are relevant or is just the complexities of mathematics? Mm, maybe, yeah, the, the important point is that the, we want to consider the uh, strong coupling uh, uh, gauge theory uh, because uh, we discussed the partial deconfinement in the notion of the weak coupling approximation. So the important point is that the, this model is strongly interacting. So the, if we can also consider uh, another case, uh, if uh, such as adding the higher derivative term or higher uh, terms in this model. Is it- Thomas, I have a question. Yep. It's David Bernstein. Um, do you get to see the Thank negative you. specific heat or not? Sorry, sorry, one second, please. Sorry. Do you get to see the negative specific heat in this interacting model or not? Because in the free matrix model, there's no negative specific heat. The, 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 yeah, the that's a good question. But uh, we want to consider, uh, study in the full BFSS or full BMN model to uh, extract the negative specific heat. But this is, uh, that is the next step, of course. OK. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so my first question is actually slightly, I think, partially answered in the last. So do we expect this partial deconfinement in like all theories because you have shown the Polygob loop eigenvalue distribution in the as mm -hmm. the non-uniform Polygob loop eigenvalue distribution to be the partially deconfined phase. So I think you have answered partially in the, in the previous question that do we expect this partial deconfinement irrespective of the order of the transition? Uh, that's also a good question, but uh, in principle, the gross within water transition can be occurred in generic uh, large energy theory. And uh, if we consider the uh, gauge constraint, the uh, color singlet object uh, cannot 
cannot be seen in the low energy region. So hydrogen transition must be existed, must exist in some uh, lower regions. So we expect that this uh, situation is generic in more, la more generic uh, gauge theory, but uh, it is not a problem issue. So to uh, that's a good, uh, difficult question. Yeah, thank, thank you. One small question. I'm slightly more interested in the lattice simulation side. So is there any other order parameter that can help us? Like, um, yeah, that's a yeah, very quick, uh, interesting question. And we are now considering the uh, finite uh, in the lattice simulation, the finite volume scaling is a very powerful tool to uh, study the uh, critical phenomena or phase transition. So one possible application is to consider the large uh, finite end scaling and uh, consider the phase transition uh, in terms of the uh, finite end scaling. So it may be possible to uh, uh, apply as a uh, another uh, powerful tool. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. That's actually the question I was going to ask, and you've addressed it already. So I think with that, we can thank Hiramasa again. Thank you so much for giving me a chance. Thank you, all the speakers for this morning. Now, in the schedule, I see we have uh, we're done with these talks. We have seven-hour discussion session.